Hello again, my name's John, and as promised, this is part two of my Toad in the Hole video. Part one was on how to make the roast potatoes that I serve up in this video. So if you want to watch that one first, I'll put a link in the description box below and at the end of this video. And here's a list of the ingredients you'll need if you want to try this one out yourself. OK, I'll start by preheating the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 395 Fahrenheit or gas mark 6. I'm setting mine to 180 Celsius because my oven is fan assisted and it runs about 20 degrees hotter than indicated on the dial. OK, let's get started on the butter. Start by beating the eggs and salt and then add the flour and mix that to a thick paste. Next job is to add a little of the milk and water to loosen up the mix. This is important, if you add all the liquid at once it will be difficult to get rid of all the lumps. Once it's smooth and lump free you can add the rest of the liquid and whisk it for a couple of minutes. You can use a food mixer for this recipe but follow the same procedure. Once the butter is mixed, pour it into a jug which will make it easier to add to the tins later on. You can make this butter well before you need it. In fact, you can make it the day before if you want and just keep it in the fridge. And when you do come to use it, just give it a good whisk up and that will revive it. Well that's the butter mixed, which is the whole part of toad in the hole. Now I can move on to the toad part, which for this recipe I'm doing 8 fairly large pork sausages. To add some colour, the sausages need to be part cooked, but this step is mainly to get rid of any excess fat, because I'll already be adding 3 quarters of an ounce of beef dripping to cook the butter in, as you'll see later on. I'm cooking mine in two 20 cm or 8 inch sandwich tins, the very same ones I did my Victoria sponge cake in. But you can use any tin really, it doesn't have to be two tins, you can just use one or whatever tins you have available. But try to use non-stick if you can. I'll put the sausages in the oven to heat up for a couple of moments while I give the batter a quick whisk before adding it to the tins. Right, I'll share the batter equally between the two tins, then I'll get them into the oven and set the timer for 30 minutes. The roast potatoes you see in the oven I did in a separate video. There will be links in the description box and at the end of this video if you want to check it out. Right, while waiting for the tour to cook, I'll just give you an idea on how we would serve this meal from our kitchens at work. 
The vegetables, in this case carrots and broccoli, can be prepped well beforehand. Now toad in the hole is traditionally served with onion gravy in the UK, so I'll show you how we make ours. Right, for the onion gravy. Chop a medium sized onion whichever way you like. Finely, half rings or what I'm doing is fairly medium sized diced. And then fry them in a knob of butter until they're almost soft but not quite transparent. Once the onions are done, pour in half a pint of stock. I'm using beef stock I had left from roasting a joint at the weekend, but you can use any stock for this. If you haven't any proper meat or vegetable stock available, use stock cubes, they're pretty good these days. Ok, I'll bring the gravy to a steady boil, ready to thicken it. I'm using corn flour, or you may call that corn starch wherever you're from. In this cup I have a heaped teaspoon of corn flour mixed with three tablespoons of cold water. And to thicken this much gravy will take about six teaspoons of this mix. Don't add it all at once or it'll be too thick. Just add enough for whatever suits you. Finally finish it off with salt and pepper to taste. Right, with about 20 minutes to go before the toad in the hole and the roast potatoes are done, that's when I put the carrots on to steam. And with only 10 minutes left, that's when I put the broccoli on. Well that's everything ready to go. All I have to do now is get it out the oven and start putting this meal together. As you can see the roast potatoes look great and the Yorkshire pudding is looking well risen and very appetising. No one really knows where Toad in the Hole originated from in England, but the dish appears in print as far back as 1762, when they used leftover bits of beef in the butter instead of sausages. Well, that's about it really, there's nothing more to be said, so I'll just let you watch how we would normally put this meal together. Don't forget you can see how I make these roast potatoes in part 1 of this recipe. There's a link in the description box and at the end of this video. Well I hope you try this one, it's not that difficult to make as long as you have the time and right, but there's a lot of steps you can prep beforehand with this one. So thanks again for watching, I'll be back with another recipe very soon. Please like, share, comment and maybe subscribe by hitting the circle above. In the meantime here's some of my other videos you may want to watch.
Bye for now.